WKBN 27 First News, where your news comes first. Now in high definition. Welcome back. Time now for our Live at Five segment. Joining me today, Dr. Mike Sevilla from Salem Community Hospital. We're talking about a big change that has happened recently in the uh, health world. Mm -hmm. And it's it's no longer a food pyramid. It's a food plate or a food circle, if you will. Tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about that. And you brought this with you today. And we'll show this. If you can take this, uh, we'll give everybody a good look mm -hmm. at what this really is all about. So what's the significance of this? Well, people are probably pretty familiar with the food pyramid. It's been around about 20 years. And and uh, one of the main criticisms about it is that people had a very difficult time trying to visualize what the idea with that was. Right, and this is so clear. It's it's a plate, so you can see exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the First Lady Michelle Obama uh, put this out probably about two weeks ago in a big press conference, and this is part of her uh, battle against uh, childhood obesity. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the main concept that they want to get out initially um, is, is when you see the plate there, you see the graphic there, you, you see that uh, they want to have half the plate to be fruits and vegetables and I think that's a big thing for for people especially kids to visualize because I think that was a lot more difficult uh, than a pyramid and how that all is how that relates to your actual dinner plate exactly and there's exactly. even a little another little circle it almost looks like half a Mickey Mouse ear of dairy there mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah and the other things that they, they talk about are the grains and the protein when when they talk about grains they want to talk about you know, eating whole um, uh, whole wheat or whole grains um, and when you when you have the protein Protein, uh, to kind of vary those up, maybe mm -hmm. some uh, seafood, maybe some uh, meat, maybe some other types of type of protein. Um, and this is only kind of part of the idea that they're talking about. They also want to, to, to put in an exercise portion with that too. Um, and just to start out, just with any kind of exercise that you want to do, not a very rigorous type of thing, um, even just walking, just to start out. Um, other things that they talk about are try to cut back on your food, uh, on your fats, on your sugars. Um, so there's a big, big kind of idea idea that they yeah, want to get see, out here. I don't see like a, a slice for any fats or sugars. <laughs> exactly, yes, yeah, it's not there at all. So, but I think they simplified it enough we'll uh, for again, uh, uh, for people just to kind of just get get a, uh, an idea in their head of, of something simple to kind of keep in mind because I think the pyramid had a lot of good information but I think it was very complicated. Mm -hmm. It was hard to keep track of and people really didn't know what the kind of the big concepts are. You'll see here that the, the big thing that wanted, they want to get out initially was to have half your plate being fruits and vegetables and, and I think that's an, an easier thing for me to talk about with my patients and for people to kind of visualize, especially kids. And say with your patients, do you, do you deal with children at all? Absolutely. So what do you think? Have you talked to anybody about this? What's the mm -hmm. reaction been so far for a kid to see this and just visually understand mm -hmm. this versus a pyramid? Mm -hmm. I think it's been easier for them just to kind of keep it in their mind when they go home or when, when they talk to their parents or when they talk to their teachers or when they're, you know, just trying to see, you know, how can I eat better? Um, especially, you know, kids with obesity, mm -hmm. it's a lot of very tough for them to kind of visualize what and how to eat. And you've, so you've gotten good feedback in general? In, in, initially, yeah. And, and I think that, that that's that's the thing that they're going for first. And they're going to kind of go into more detail breakdown as far as proteins and mm -hmm. grains and dairy. And kind of that's the next step of their campaign. All right. Well, it'll be interesting to see how this works out. And if we ever go back to the pyramid, which it doesn't look like we will, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much for coming in, Dr. Seville. I appreciate Thank you. your time. We'll be right back after this.